good, super truckers. Appreciate you guys tuning in. This video is going to be a little different. It's going to be on how to install an ELD into a freight liner. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Uh, we're going to use the keep trucking unit, so uh, here we go. What's step one? You get the ELD. So you want to make sure that your ELD has the correct uh, compatible cord for your particular vehicle. Some are different. Um, this is going to be a freight liner, as we mentioned in the beginning. You're going to take out the kick plate. This is going to be a star head screw, not a Phillips or a flat head. Generally, there's somewhere between two and four screws that holds this kick plate in. Just take the screws out and it should pop right out. In some of the older freight liners, the uh, ECM hookup was in the back there where he's pointing to, but anything in the newer ones is going to be up closer to the, uh, the dash there. So once you remove the kick plate bottom uh, kick plate panel there, you can remove the door seal. Just be careful there when you pull that out. Now this side panel here uh, could have uh, uh, screws or clips, so just be careful when you're pulling that out. When this one came out pretty easy. This will give you access to the back of the ECM plug. The front usually will just kind of screw off and you can pull it through and disconnect it, which will give you access to it. We'll get it back to you once we take it out. Once you've got that apart, you can actually set the, the side plate panel to the side and um, get full access to the ECM hookup here. This is where your mechanic would plug in to read your engine and your computer. At this point, you want to have a piggy on your ELD. This will allow you to be able to plug into your um, computer in the truck, but also leave access for a mechanic to still run diagnostics and so forth. The connections on these are pretty simple. They plug in and kind of twist. That locks them in. So that plugs directly into. And that just goes straight into your uh, engine's computer. Can read everything. And now that'll be the uh, access for the mechanic later on, where he'll be able to run diagnostics or anything. Okay. So definitely always helpful to have the piggy tail on there. Yeah, because you don't want to you don't want disconnecting to ELD. Yep. This also keep it uh, safe for you not to have to disconnect your ELD for when you do take the truck to the shop. So remember, never want to disconnect your ELD. Remember that always, please, guys. So you push that back through, and then on the other side, there will be a little screw that will kind of uh, secure that into the panel. Then you put the panel back in place. Once you've run the wire up through the side there, you kind of want to just, you know, make it aesthetically pleasing. And this will be able to allow the keep trucking unit to be on the dash, which will be more um, available viewing for the driver. Gotcha. Generally, this will just kind of tuck in behind the sides, and then you push that panel back in. It hides it nice and nice and well. So. Once that goes in, remember it could be uh, clips, it could be screws, it could kind of just set in there. Uh, put that seal back on, make sure it's a good fit, nice and tight. Uh, sometimes they can be a booger to get back on. Luckily this one went right on with no problem. After that, you want to check and make sure that the keep trucking ELD is receiving a signal from the uh, engine and it will turn from red to green on the left side. And as you can see, we do have a green light and green means it is a go as far as this connection to the engine. Sometimes it may take a few minutes for it to turn from red to green, so just be patient. Uh, it, you know, it just depends on the unit and how quickly it connects. On the right side there, that's going to be red because that's no device such as a Bluetooth uh, capable tablet or phone that's not connected currently to it. And once the driver comes over, he will later connect to that logging into the Keep Trucking app and make his connection through Bluetooth. That red light will turn green, but you always want to try to best case scenario have that up on the dash where the driver can see both the red and the green light this will allow him to know that uh, which ones if there's any issue any connection issue because you want to wait till both are green before you begin to move forward that means there's a connection to your device and there is a connection to the engine after that you make sure you put the kick plate kick plate back in that's going to be the same thing in removing it's like in a star head screw you just kind of get that in I think there was only three holding this one in, so again, nice, easy job, quick and easy, no issues here. So we hope this answers some of your questions on how to stall a ELD into a Freightliner. Uh, we may do this on some of the other trucks when they come in uh, to give you different point of views. And um, oh, whoa. what was that? Man, last that's part just how you get stuff done. <laughs> this is how what? And this is, ladies and gentlemen, how you get shit done. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Thanks, Mike. We appreciate you.